Should we ping Harley? Go for it. Oh boy. <sighs> if you are reading this, it means you won't see me again unless it's in the next life. I wish I could have told you everything. I don't know how much time I have and there's still so much I have to do before I'm gone. This letter serves two purposes, to say goodbye and to bequeath to you my house in Kensdale. The next part may be a mistake and God forgive me if it is. When you settle in, there's something in the attic I need to pass on to you. Look for a tape, but know that once you watch it, there's no turning back. Stay safe, my dear. With you always, Aunt Kate. I really don't like Aunt Kate. Okay, let's like WSD control. Oh, this is all I fucking need. Oh. Oh. Don't know what's in there. Okay, is it safe there? I guess what's the numbers? 345, is that it? Guess not. Oh, wait, this must be. Oh, there's another puzzle, I guess. There must be a few puzzles in here. There's a few puzzles in here. God damn. There's a whole bunch of stuff in here. Oh, Lord, no. And there's some fungus here. Yeah, hold on, talk to me. And that's the letter. Uh huh. This must be something pink with the Triton. Thank you so much for the skates. I don't know. Don't be a stranger. I'm your neighbor. Certificate building is still there to risk to investigate. I know it's been a long time since you've seen me. I swear the library has some time. Uh, I knew I could trust you. I need, I'm sorry. Need that again to trust. Two years ago, my little brother Jordan disappeared. Just poof, gone. My parents were never the same and now they're gone too. They just didn't get over the grief. It broke their hearts and eventually killed them. The police figured someone snatched Jordan off the street. That some crazy guy lured him away. A freak occurrence, you know, a regular old suburban tragedy. But I know there's something more to it. And I know you know it too. I thought I was alone. Nobody believed me when I tried to bring it up. But I heard about the kind of research you do. The kind that normal people don't do. I don't know. Maybe it's just a rumor. But here I am. Uh... He used to watch that show, you know, it was really sweet at first. I remember that you even used to tell families with younger kids to watch it. It was, I don't know, wholesome, I guess. And then it got weird. I'd find Jordan standing in front of the TV like he was in the trance. And it was like that little girl was talking to him. She said some really weird stuff. 
I know most of the people around here don't believe in that kind of work you do not all at the library, the other kind of work. They just don't want to face the truth that something really evil was there. Can you meet and talk? All right, so she was probably doing an investigation of some type. All right. Well, something broke here too. Oh great, a window. Something's gonna jump scare me there. Peach pie. What's your favorite kind of pie? Uh. Mmm. Mmm, that sounds delicious. <laughs> Today, good job. We can use a sharp knife. Look, it's. Uh, I don't think we're supposed to do that by our. Cinnamon? Okay, it's time to bake a pie. First, preheat the oven to 425. I don't think we should be using the oven by ourselves. We should always ask a parent to help. I'm not sure where they are right now. <laughs> We're on our own, Willie. First, preheat the oven to 425 degrees. Uh huh. Then put the apples into the pie tin. Uh huh. Now put it in the oven. 40 minutes. And bake it for 40 minutes. That's what I did wrong. Our pie is. Okay, so what I'm supposed to do. Rip Grandma! Rip Grandma! You're that dead. scared the hell out of me, thank you. Alright. So. That. Hey, Harley, how's it going? Alright, so. Oh, okay. All right. Hi, Nothing. Friends. I'm Amanda. And C B F. C B F. What do you like best about your neighborhood? Huh? That's great. I like <laughs> that there are so many friends in my neighborhood. Today, I want to send something special to my friend. First, I need to go to the store to buy them a card. Do you know where the store is? The corner store. Good job. Let's go to the store. Let's pick out a card. My friend helped me when I was sad. What kind of card should I send them? Uh, green. Great! I found the perfect card. Time for the next Only 150325. Nice Why is the corner store closed so far? Thank them. I want to get my friend a special treat. Can I have a special treat? I want to get my friend a special treat. Where can I buy a treat for my friend? <laughs> uh, the post office. Wow, your friends must love your treats from the post office. Yes. I hope all the treats are stale by the time we get there. Can you show me where to go? <laughs> Why is it? Good job. Let's oh, go look, the post office treat. opened up again. I don't like the name of the tape. Oh. oh. Mm, everything smells so good. I want to buy my friend some... Ooh. Buy my friend some cookies. Can you show me where the cookies are? That's a cookie, right? I don't think my friend will like that. Oh. How about this? I can't mail that to my friend. Uh, how about that again? I want the cookies! My bad. Those look so tasty! <laughs> we just have thing annoyed. stop in the neighborhood! The package is ready for my friend. They live pretty far from me, so we need to mail it. Wow, it's getting late. Most of the stores are closed. We probably can't send that now. 
I have to send this to my friend. It's time to go to the post office. Let's send this package to my friend. Their name is... Wait, I don't remember. Can you help me? We can come back tomorrow. You don't have to send that now. No, I have to send this to my friend. Oh. Help me. Who does the package need to go to? Bitch, I don't know. Uh... Uh... Uh, Ice. No, that's not my friend's name. Uh, uh, Dag. You have to know their name. Uh, uh, what the? Hello? Oh, it's spelling for me. Hey. Great work! Uh, now we can send this to I was my spelling friend. Harley. <laughs> I hope she likes the cookies. Hamlin? I mean, CBF, right? CBF. Alright, so. All right, moving on. Oh, it's you. Whatever you do, don't. Oh. Oh no! What the hell you doing? Really had an accident. An accident is when something bad happens, but it's not anybody's fault. Accidents can happen in your house, at school, at the playground. You can get hurt almost everywhere. At 3.45 this afternoon, we were playing and Wooly tripped and fell. I, I didn't trip. Where on Wooly does it look like he got hurt? <sighs> I'm just, I'm just to save him because I feel bad for Wooly. That's right. Wooly hurt his knee. Who can help when you are hurting? Um... Uh, Grandma. I don't think Whoops. they can help. Oh, uh, uh, Jesus. Don't you want to help, Wooly? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay, 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 doctor, there you go. Let's take Wooly to the hospital to see a doctor. Hmm, which room should we go into to find the right doctor to help Wooly? Did he break his knee? What the... <laughs> Get Damn, they boiled those things up. Amanda, this really hurts. Twenty-two fifty. The doctor, going... the doctor isn't here right now. Let's see how we can help Wooly. Which tool can we use to check Wooly's injury? The heart monitor, the X-ray machine, gonna need that heart monitor later. or the scale. <laughs> That's right. Now we can look at Wooly's bones. Oh shit. I hope Wooly is okay. I'm scared to look behind me. Of course. Hold on, I just wanna it was twenty two fifty, right? So twenty two is ten. Unless they want three forty five first. Stop. Oh, over here? Is 
Isn't interesting. Interesting. It was six twenty. Five fifteen. Why is everything 515? Hmm. Wait. Wait. There was something with three digits. Is it you? Nope, it definitely wasn't you. Wait, where's that safe? To you? Nope. Uh huh. Oh. This big ass clock. Whoops. It looks like I can't. There's no minute hand for this. Uh-huh. Is it this? Nope, that might be uh, the grand finale. Oh, wait. Hold on. Whoops. Wait a minute, why did the safe turn into a box? Did I miss something? Uh, oh. Tick tock, tick tock. Oh. Oh, shit. Is not five or two? Oh, I might. Um. Safe eight two six. But the safe isn't here anymore. I'm assuming it's after I look at this damn Alright, so safe eight two six, right? Oh okay, that's a nope. Your favorite food to eat at a picnic. 
Um, ass. Oh, I don't like that at all. Uh, well, it's not for everybody. Amanda, what's that smell? <laughs> I've never smelled anything like that. I don't know, Wooly. You're right. Two, it's six. a bad smell. What do you think is making that bad smell? Um. Uh, this? You, you're right. I don't know what that is. This sandwich oh, okay. is stinky because it's rotting. Why are they this moving? This tree stump is rotting too. Do you know why? Things rot when they are not alive anymore. Do you know what the opposite of alive is? Uh-oh. Um. And a lot. Look at the tree stump. If it's not alive, what is it? Uh, live. I don't think we should be talking about this. Ugh, okay, okay, dead. That's right. The tree stump is dead. Dead is the opposite of alive. Good job. Men can die if they don't get enough light or water. Or if they get a disease. Let's go back to our nice picnic. Animals can die in different ways, too. Uh -oh. Look at poor Mr. Fox. He is dead and rotting. What do you think killed him? The gun, the knife, or the poisonous berries on this bush? You, bitch. You. Uh, the, the, the bush? I think that was it. I can't tell from here. That shot? No, it wasn't that. Look at his funny tongue. He's silly. What killed him? Ugh. Wouldn't it be nice if he could tell us? <laughs> Mr. Fox, what made you die? I... I... I don't... I don't know. Was the ugly old bear trap. Mr. Fox didn't even know what got him until it was too late. Amanda, this has gone too far. I don't like this. We saw so many things today. A riding sandwich, a riding tree stump, <laughs> and silly old riding Mr. Fox. Feels far away. Amanda, nothing is rotten here. What do you think? Do you think that everything rots? Of course not, Amanda. I'm not asking you. <laughs> answer my question. You don't have to answer that. What the hell am I answering? Uh. See? Everything is fine here. It's all fine. Oh. oh. Nah, I'm done. Um, <laughs> First, we need to cut the apples. Hmm, do you know what we can use to cut the apples? Good job. Here. I saw this like four times and I'm like, I didn't understand it. But then I started to think in my head, is that a pause button? I feel like there's something because it's it's literally a pause symbol. What the fuck? Hello? Oh shit! <laughs> I just kept. I literally just playing around with the dial.
So wait, can we use the things beforehand and then maybe we change the outcome of what's supposed to happen? Wait a minute. This is a different recipe. Pre Preheat down to 525. I just Oh, we finally did it. In a pie, mix meat, potato, and mushrooms. <gasps> Wait, this is what I was looking for. I bet you it goes into the into the the, um, the mouse trap. I was literally waiting for this. Uh -huh. Uh huh. There you go. Oh, oh God, come back. Oh, shit. Right. There you go. Meat. Oh, we about to, we about to get another ending. Mushroom. And a potato is the moon. Nope. 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 There we go. Oh. Bitch, get in there. Wait, is this not a... This is a... This is a potato! Wait, right? Potato's a moon. I don't know. Wait, is that to be like realistic? <gasps> oh. I'm good at this. I'm good at this. Oh. What? Sir. Sir, can you... <laughs> I gave you everything. Now nah, you're gonna take this damn pie. Look, they all fit. Is it 520? Wait, is it? Oh, I didn't put no oh, timer. Duh, 50 minutes. I know, I know, I got it. There you go. Oh god. That sounded disgusting. Okay, so now we're gonna have to be on the lookout. We're just gonna look for something that maybe makes us pause the Ooh, this ain't looking good. Hi there. I'm Amanda. Oh and I'm Lily. Amanda, maybe some of our friends can come back to the neighborhood. That's great! <laughs> I like that there are so many friends in my neighborhood. Today, I want to send something special to my friend. First, I need to go to the store to buy them a card. Do you know where the store is? I don't need to go there right now. Do you think this is funny? Kinda. Just take me to the store. All right, all right. Good job. Let's she always go in a mood. So Let's pick out a card. My friend, something bad happened. Oh. What kind of card should I send them? This one? That's not the right card. Wait a minute. This. This music notes. But what does it say? <laughs> uh, I don't read music notes anymore, so my memory on this is bad. <laughs> Do I look like a mu of a music table?
This says something. I don't know what it says, but it says something. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Music. Notes. Alright, so these are the notes. Oh lord. Uh huh. That doesn't always happen. Oh my god, can you? Case, we mean that. The note sits. Miss, I, I, I appreciate you. Oh. A. Thank you. Okay, so now that we get that. Um, Alright, let's see what it could say. Try to write this down. Alright, so it's on the first one. That's. Okay, that's F. Then on the A. Uh, one above that up here, C. Then we go back to A. Um, go up more to D. Is this a fa is this facade? This is facade. Okay, it's facade. <laughs> It's facade. Wait, can we play the music now or do we have to wait for it to be on the um on the thing? Well let's try now. See if it'll do something. We got a. Uh... Reminds me of those uh, tapes you got from Nickelodeon. The secret Nick that you see. So, I... all right, let's let's see what's happening. Here. Okay, yeah, it's this one. I don't think we want this. I think Amanda is confused. <laughs> That's the one, right? Shh. Here's a secret. It's my birthday. Maybe we can help her out. Are you sure that's right? I don't... It looks like it. I bet your friend is really going to love this card. My friend is... Oh, that's again. My friend. Okay, cheer the hell up. My friend is having a birthday. I want to get my friend a special treat. Where can I buy a treat for my friend? The butcher. Well, I know. Let's get them some nice candy. Do you know where the candy store is? At the butcher shop. They don't have anything we need. Sure. Look at the stores. Which one sells candy? Oh, the store. <sighs> Does this help? <laughs> Great. What? Why did you do that? Now I can't find the candy store. What? I pressed the candy oh, store. No. Can you help me? Uh. Um. Don't do that. I don't want to go there. I don't want to go there either, miss. What the hell are you talking about? I said I don't want to go in there. I. Oh. No. Why is this happening? Your friend's having a birthday party. Maybe it's a barbecue. No! Why can't I stop this? This isn't the candy store. There is nothing here that I want. Maybe you can take us someplace else? I want to get my friend a special treat. I feel bad. I'm sorry. Um. Oh, okay. Let me avoid the house and sausages. I want to get my friend a special treat. Uh, steak? Let me out of here! Oh, Amanda. That's 
That's a nice birthday card. Do you want to give it to your friend now? Will you address the card? Who should I send this to? Uh... I don't know. I was gonna say Wooly. I don't know who to send this to. Kate? I don't think it's their birthday. Oh. The card is for someone really cute. I don't I don't know. I help. <laughs> Gosh. I guess you really forgot. It was your birthday, I know, but I... I can't... <laughs> oh, oh there was a... Why? Birthday. I thought it was an IE. Oh, I'm... I'm sorry about that. Ooh, I'm afraid to look behind me. Uh... Well, now I know. Where... We went, we tried to, you took me. Um, oh. Oh. So, it was these places, you didn't, okay, maybe not, um. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what's happening here. Um, so as a, you went here to go here to go here no so it, it was because it was here to go here to go here um here to go here to go here oh that was right um here to go here to go here uh, here to go, here to go, here. Oh, Lord. D did I win? <laughs> I don't think this gave me anything. But now we get to see the secret tape. Special surprise for you. Here's what I had. <laughs> Who's ready for ice cream and cake? She's busy with her best friend. Is that show on 24-7? It's like she didn't even hear me. And we need to talk about some new TV rules. <laughs> you know what? Hold on. Let me try. I, I wanna I wanna capture the big surprise on video. <laughs> Lauren, honey! We got cake and ice cream. We got your favorite, mint chocolate chip. Come on, baby, we can watch Amanda another time. Lauren? Everything okay? Lauren? Mm, Lauren? I love mint chocolate chip. Oh, wow. Guts. You got wait, 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 guts, 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 guts. The lock with the red.
I had to think about it. Oh, no, go back. Oop. Wait, come here. First of all, you stay there. What's a family? Um... There was a doll here. There was a doll here. Hold on. Fuck you go. I don't see it anymore. I don't like this. <sighs> I don't like this. Hi, friends. I'm Amanda. And I'm Wooly. I will remember your name now. Animal sound. He said ba because he is a sheep. Can you make a sound like a sheep? That's great! You sound just like Wooly. <laughs> <laughs> wow, yeah. You sound just like me. Yeah, thunder warning. Back to wait. The oh, fuck, hazards warning. Zoo. There are lots of animals here to pet and play with. It's fun to spend time with animals. They are very different from people. They look different, and they don't talk like people. Amanda. I'm an animal, and I- Animals don't talk, silly. <laughs> Look at these yeah. signs. Let's make That's sounds rude. like the animals on the sign. Animals don't talk. Are you ready? A goat says, meh, meh. A chicken says, <laughs> A pig says, like, Oh my. <laughs> fun. Animals make funny sounds. Do you have a family? Animals have families too. Let's go see one of the animal families. I want to see the chickens. Can you show me where the chickens are? Big? That's not where they are. Come on. Don't you know what a chicken looks like? Not really. What this? I want to go look at the chickens. Yes. Great! Let's go see those silly chickens. What a cute fib. Oh, shit. I see a mommy chicken. She took her as his ability chicken. to talk. And I see. I see a daddy chicken. Look at the chickens. Do you know what the daddy is called? Uh, that may not be it. Very stuff in mind. The daddy is called a rooster. The <laughs> mommy is a hen, and the babies are chicks. Some mommies eat their babies. Yum yum. Uh, oh. Okay, let's go see some more animal families. Where should we go next? I think it's time to visit the sheep. <laughs> Can you tell me where we can find the sheep? Right here. Ew! I don't want to see those. They're scary. Uh, how about here? I don't want to go near. Wedding warning. Check environment hazard. Yo, this dude look like he he's seen some shit. <laughs>
Why did that Look do? Look at the nice sheep family. All the sheep are right where they belong. <laughs> oh, I feel bad for him. Oh lord. Hi, little kitten. Where is your family? It looks like this kitten is all by herself. How do you think she feels? She must be so scared. <laughs> There's nobody to love her. Um, all right. Oh, the kitten is alone. There's no one to help her. Will you help the lonely kitten? Will you please help the lonely kitten? Okay, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. I said yes. I shouldn't have said yes. Shouldn't have said yes. At all. So... Okay. Wait. Pause. I have to use the pause button on something. Uh. That's not where they are. Oh, is is it chickens? Wait, let's go see the silly chickens. What a cute fib. <laughs> Having a family is nice. I see a mommy chicken and baby chickens, and I see, I see a daddy chicken. Look at the chickens. Do you know what the daddy is called? The daddy is called a rooster. The mommy is a hen, and the babies are chicks. Some mommies eat their babies. Yum, <coughs> yum. Okay, let's go see some more animal families. Where should we go next? I think it's time to visit the sheep. <coughs> can you tell me where we can find the sheep? The meat. Ew, I don't want to see them. I don't want to go. The sheep are waiting for us. Where are they? One thing, one thing. Okay, let's go. Look at the nice sheep family. All the sheep are right where they belong. <laughs> Damn. Was it this one, the blizzard warning? Let's pause. Hmm. Maybe I have to do in the first one. Cause the first one is a thunderstorm. Back. All right, so the first thunder warning is in the beginning. I think I skipped it by accident. Hi, friends. I'm Amanda. And I'm Wooly. Bye. Wooly just made an animal sound. He said bah because he is a sheep. Can you make a sound like a sheep? That's great. You sound just like Wooly. <laughs> 
<laughs> wow, yeah. You sound just like me. Right here. Boy. So now, okay, okay. Now I gotta watch for the wind one. Okay. At a petting zoo, there are lots of animals here to pet and play with. It's fun to spend time with animals. They are very different from people. They look different, and they don't talk like people. Amanda, I'm an animal, and I... Animals don't talk, silly. <laughs> look at the I like signs. that she's like... <laughs> Let's make sounds like the animals on the signs. Are you ready? A goat says, meh, meh. A chicken says, a pig says, like, Ooh, God, I forgot about that part. Fun! Animals make funny sounds. Do you have a family? Animals have families too. Let's go see one of the animal families. I want to see the chicken. Can you show me where the chickens are? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go. Great! Let's go see those silly chickens. What a cute fib. <laughs> Having a family is nice. I see a mommy chicken and baby chickens. And I see... I see a daddy chicken. Look at the chickens. Do you know what the daddy is called? Yeah, but I can't spell it the way I want. The daddy is called <laughs> a rooster. The mommy is a hen. And the babies are chicks. Some mommies eat their babies. <laughs> yum, yum. Okay, let's go see some more animal families. Where should we go next? I think it's time to visit the sheep. <laughs> can you tell me where we can find the sheep? There. Okay, let's go. Look at the nice sheep family. All the sheep are right where they belong. Damn. Okay, this is a blizzard warning. Hmm. Is there a... Wait, did I miss one? I didn't miss one, did I miss... Maybe there was. I don't want to go back. You sure it's not this? It sounds like a dog, to be honest. Interesting. This blizzard warning. I'm assuming that's the last one. Did I miss the tornado warning? I feel like I missed the tornado warning. I think that's not where they are. Oh, my bad. Wait, let's go. It has to be during the, the, the rooster thing. The daddy is called a rooster, the mommy is a hen, and the babies are chicks. Some mommies eat their babies. Yum, yum. Okay, let's go see some more animal families. 
where should we go next? I think it's time to visit the sheep. <laughs> can you tell me where we can find the sheep? Uh... Maybe I have to answer the question wrong. Okay, let's... I'm starting to think, maybe I'm supposed to answer the question wrong and it does something. Because I'm not... Okay, so, uh... Uh, ice. No, that's not what they're called. Try. Knew it. And then the last one. Again. Uh. The daddy is called a rooster. The mommy is a hen, and the babies are chicks. Some mommies eat their babies. Yeah, yum, that yum. sounds about right. Okay, let's go see some more animal families. Where should we go? So next? now I think it's time to visit the sheep. <laughs> can you tell me where we can find the sheep? Ew, I don't want to see those. They're scary. I don't want to go near There it is. I have to answer these wrong. Oh, tape. <sighs> okay. I just don't like the fact I put yes and it's sta fucking staring. Everything rots. So this must be an alternate version. Hi Ken, I'm Amanda. And I'm Wooly. What's that smell? What do you think is making that bad smell? Uh, okay. No, that looks fine. Hold on, before I even do this. How long has that doll been there? <laughs> you stay right there. Don't move. Where does this go? Wait, I put them next to me, right? Don't move. This is not gonna hurt. Yo. If you could feel the amount of shit that wanted to come out of my ass when this thing screamed. Okay, there we go. There we go. Okay, I don't know what number I'm supposed to be putting in here. Okay, put that back on. Okay. It says don't get it wet, so I'm, I'm, am I supposed to take this damn thing and just throw it in water? Am I supposed to press numbers?
Uh-huh. Uh, is there numbers around there? <gasps> how much was... How much was the damn... Shit, how much was the robot? The robot's price was on the wall. Fuck it, nah, I'll, I'll, I'll eventually get it. I know, I know it's the number of the price it, it is, because it's like an expensive ass price for some reason. All right, let's just, let's just get through this. Are you doing this on purpose? Yes. What is making that bad smell? You, you're right. You know what the opposite of alive is? <laughs> Dead is the opposite of alive. Good job! <laughs> when an animal dies, it rots too. It looks like this kitten is in big trouble. It might die before anyone can help it. Should we help the kitten? Yes! This, this guy here. Oh. Hello? It needs you get the more stickers. You get. Yeah, so I got two. I only thought there was three endings, but there isn't. And I'm Wooly. Gotcha. Good job. Let's go to the store. Let's. There you are. Fifteen oh three twenty five. So. Oh three twenty five. Okay, sorry. Condolences to Kate. Uh huh. Is it? Uh oh. Congratulations, you're one year older. Wishing you the bestest year yet. Eight, eight, two. Eight, eight, two. Eight, eight, two. Eight, eight. Eight, eight, two. Life is not just a series of zeros and ones. Over here? Nope, oh, not here. Zero, eight, eight, two. Okay, so there was a zero. My bad. So, is it the time? No, that's not the time. Okay, what the hell am I doing? Okay. I'm really trying to reach. Zero eight eight two. Hmm. Can be zero eight eight two. It 
can't be this. Is there something else? I think I opened up. Open up that. Um, zero eight eight two. This is already open. Those are just symbols. There's something on the wall. Zero eight one nine two one. Her birthday. Her birthday. Her birthday. Her birthday. Her birthday. Her birthday. What was her birthday? When was her birthday? When was her birthday? Where's the birthday girl? Usually my mom pulls my treat money. Where's Come on, Lauren, we have a special surprise for you. Okay. Here's what I had. <sighs> I don't know why I put a nine. Who's ready for ice cream and cake? So it was August 21st. Is that showing? I don't think. No, I didn't show the date. Is there a date here? Zero eight. Uh, wrong date. So it was March. Something on this cake? Because I think it's the date, but then it has the robot, so 0882. Unless. It... Wait. Oh, shit. Yeah. Ice, right, you're right. The candles are one. Zero, eight. You, 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 you saw it before I did. Um, uh, it takes me just a few more steps than usual. Three twenty-five at thirty minutes. Oh. May your year be filled with many blessings. One times four is four. Five minus one is four. Am I so well this is Okay, so. Four. Four. Uh, two. two one. Four, three, three. Zero. zero. What's in the cart is the cake. What's on the card is on the cake. This is it. C D C F E C C D C F E C C D C F E E C D C F E Shit Shit Oh 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 You guys can shut up now. Oh. <laughs> I 
I, f bro, I feel like they're still singing it. We don't have much time. Do you trust me? Uh, yes. Lily! Ready for an adventure? Amanda! I know you can't. Lily had an accident! When a friend has an accident, sometimes nobody can help them. But we can try! No, Amanda! I I'm fine! I, I just, uh... Poor Wooly is so confused. We really have to oh, no. help him. First, we have to know what is wrong. What part of Wooly is broken? Uh, um... Okay, your hand. Your hand is good. Isn't Wooly acting strange? What could be wrong? Uh, uh your other hand, you know. Don't you care about Wooly? He needs our help. Uh, your... Your stomach? If we don't fix him now, things will get very, very bad. Your face? Lily's head is broken, but Dr. Amanda is here to help. Oh, Let's Lord. prepare the patient. Here, Willie, drink this. Oh, no. How'd you guess the number? Amanda. I just made the just candles, bad. too. Isn't it, Willie? Amanda, I feel... Uh... We need to operate immediately on the patient's brain. What tool should we use to fix Wooly's head? The saw, the hammer, or the forceps? The, she kept saying, I mean, she kept saying what's in the card is on the cake. So after a while, I just kept saying it over and over. And I'm thinking, are they telling me the two candles there replace all the candles in my hand? And then I got the right number. As for this, okay, let's, let's do forceps. You know, forceps, right here, you know. That might be helpful, but what else could we use? Forceps is, is nice. It's okay. I guess we give him a concussion. Things could get really messy if we use that. That's why I said forceps, bro. You, you sure the forceps? That looks hard to use. No, but no, I no. Can try. Go ahead, just yeah, go ahead. <laughs> I tricked you. We're going to use all three. Oh, Willie. Oh, Willie. Oh, God. Yo, fight back, Willie. Oh, need a little help here. Oh, Willie. Please. Stop. Who are you going to help? You're not going to help me? No. Crazy bitch. I can do this by myself. No Willie, no. Ah, oh, damn it. I'm sorry, Willie. Huh. Riley's fan movies. Uh. I'm Oh. Hi. Trap door. Treat. What? What? I'm Hi. Trap door treat. Trap door treat. Summer nineteen eighty four. I'm allergic to apples. How many chair? How many mushrooms? How many fruit? How many plate? Uh, chairs, mushrooms, fruit, lights. Okay, chairs one. What the hell am I putting this? Am I putting this here? Yeah, it has to be here. There's four digits there. One. I only see one chair. Chairs. Mushrooms. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. And how many fruits? 
One, two, three, four, five. One right there, six. Is there only six? Okay, I think there's only six fruits. And then lights. I literally only see one. Unless we count that. Let's do one and see if it works. Oh, I'll do that. Nope. Maybe it's 1984. Uh, well, let me try 1984 first. Isn't that? Okay, so Ch chairs. I mean, one. I maybe the the couch counts. Maybe that's two. Two places to sit. Yeah, I did count eight. Um, are we gonna count the no fruit, 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 fruit? One, two, three, four, five, and then this one is six. And then, oh, is there two lights? Two lights, there we go. Home movies. Not liking this one. Four oh ah. one two five eight. Four oh one. Four oh one two five eight. Do I put that in the robot? I'm supposed to take a shit. Um, what the hell does that mean? Oh, no, I don't know. I don't know. Okay. What does that mean? The only thing I can think of is this warning here. Do not get him wet. I said it. I... We 
Yeah, I love you too. We can share. <clears throat> oh. Hi, I'm Amanda. When you're friends, you can share all kinds of things with each other. I can share my crayons with you, so you can have fun coloring too. Look at silly Mr. Fox. Uh-huh. Sharing shows you care about someone. Friends can share toys. They can share snacks. Well, I broke my toy. I'll share some of my snacks with you. Which snack would you like? Uh, maybe the cheese. Yum. That's my favorite. Friends can share other things, too. They can share secrets. Can I share a secret with you? <laughs> no, but okay. Are you sure? It's a big secret. Uh, Is it really okay to share my secret with you? Not anymore. I'm out there. Huh? Somewhere. Oh, shit. No! <laughs> Throw that shit away. And then we share, but I'm going to tell her no. Oh, yeah, she's there. Yum, that's my. F oh. I thought you were different. I'm not. Oh, fuck. Leave. <laughs> Good job. Wait, what? Okay, so instead of making an apple pie, we're going to make a peach pie. And the peach is all the way over here. It's been hiding the entire time. I already I've been I've always seen it. It just didn't bother me too much. There you go. Okay. Creepy. What happened? Um, right now I finished the, uh, this is the secret. I'm trying to get the secret ending. And it's just me trying to figure out what the sheep is telling me, Wooly, because he's literally giving me hints and I have to kind of look at what's happening. So this is the, the final ending and it's the secret ending. Okay, I don't hear nothing. Mm. 
Is that Amanda? This might be Amanda. Something's blue here. There you are. And yellow flower. How about this one? Thank you. That's my favorite flower. I got a surprise for you. But oh, never mind. Please don't. Oh. Thank you. <laughs> it's been three weeks since local television producer Sam <clears throat> Colton was reported missing, and authorities still have no leads. Colton is the creator of Amanda the Adventurer, the public access children's educational program that became a huge hit among area children. But with Colton's disappearance, the future of the show remains unclear. Last year, Hamlin Entertainment purchased rights to the live action program starring Colton's daughter, Rebecca. As budget and production value increased, Hamlin reimagined the show as an animated series, planning to syndicate the program nationally. Hamlin's acquisition of the program and Colton's recent disappearance have raised some eyebrows. And to further fuel these concerns, New episodes of Amanda the Adventurer have had subject matter that has left local parents uncomfortable about the program. My kids are still really into that show, but it has changed. I mean, I walked in the other day and Amanda was talking about how mommies and daddies aren't always right. I mean, what is that? That's not something you tell impressionable kids. I had to change the channel. I just told the kids that the TV was acting up. It's not yet clear how Colton's <laughs> disappearance will affect the involvement of his daughter, Rebecca, the show's young star. We reached out to Hamlin Entertainment for an interview. While representatives declined to comment, they did release a written statement. We at Hamlin have concerns surrounding the nature of Sam Colton's abandonment of both our program and his daughter. We cannot speculate on his reasons for leaving. We do ask that the community respect the privacy of Rebecca Colton as she needs time out of the spotlight to process these disturbing events. For the time being, Rebecca's local appearances have been canceled, including the Kensdale Public Library fundraiser, Woolies Readathon, this Saturday mm -hmm. evening. Rest assured that Amanda is not going anywhere. Hamlin Entertainment remains committed to our vision for this cherished program. Despite this statement, authorities have not drawn any conclusions about the nature of Sam Colton's disappearance. We will share any future updates as the story develops. When we return, hey, we'll check in with Zappo, the talking gerbil. It's me, your friend, oh, Skip. God. And with me, as always, is my trusty dog, Chip. What the hell is this? Hi, friends. Okay, we're gonna go see the chickens. Let's go. Now, name it this, I have to put her father's name. Oh shit, everybody looked at me. Where should we go next? I think it's time to visit the sheep. <laughs> Can you tell me where? Yeah. There we go. 
I put in her father's name and she's like, what? And then this dude looked worried as hell. Do we help the kitten? No. No. What was that? Oh god. Oh. Whoops. I guess I was supposed to say yes. <laughs> she was not about that life. My bad. I should have helped the kitten. <laughs> green tape has. Oh. Coffee break with Sadie. Welcome to Coffee Break. Today I'm talking with Sam Colton, the creator of the hit kids show, Amanda the Adventurer. And I have to say, a fantastic studio neighbor. Thanks for having me on the show, Sadie. You're a pretty good studio neighbor yourself. Though, I'm going to gain 50 pounds if you keep stocking the kitchen with those delicious homemade cookies. You can't have a coffee break without cookies. <laughs> Sam, I can, last year but, you started oh well. producing Amanda the Adventurer right here in the studio. The whole town loves it. Did you even imagine that would be such a big sensation? Honestly, Sadie? No, it was a total surprise. I mean, it's scrappy at best. You know how it is when you have a big idea and a little budget. I don't know if I know what you're talking about. <laughs> Kids don't really care about that, though. They see the heart. And boy, does your show have a big heart. You know, I really have to thank our local librarian, Miss Kate, for being such a champion of the project. I think she's talked about it at every single story time. I think it's just so rare nowadays for kids' shows to be so much fun, but also really teach kids something, isn't it? Mm. What inspired you to create Amanda? I wanted to create a show that teaches children that our world is a magical place, that there are little adventures waiting around every corner in their very own neighborhood. The show is a celebration of kids' imaginations. But really, it's all Rebecca. As soon as I met my beautiful daughter, the inspiration was there. You know, she was so young when I adopted her. And despite what she's gone through, she's always seen the world with such kindness and joy. She's the light of my life, and it makes me so happy to share that light with our community. She really is something special. Watching her perform is simply delightful. I mean, the whole show is just so cute. Thank you, Sadie. Do you see big things happening with Amanda the Adventurer? I've actually had some people approach me about it. They want to turn Amanda into a cartoon. I can't really talk about it yet, but it's exciting. It feels like a dream, the idea of welcoming even more kids into this wild, creative world. It feels like my little show could really have a big impact. I'm already hating this guy right now. Sam, thanks so much for it feels so disingenuous. Today. Our community is so lucky to have you. And Rebecca. On our next coffee break, floral arrangements for all occasions. Featuring the newest addition to our neighborhood, Rose Matthews of Rose's Bouquet. Until then, may your coffee always be steaming and the conversation sparkling. Are you going to go? And he is so 80s. What? I can't remember. I haven't been through this part a lot. Um. That part of Wooly looks fine. Oh, okay. That's right! Wooly hurt his knee. And instead of a doctor, we put Noba. 
You're probably right. Let's take Wooly to the hospital to see a doctor. Let me see. Yep, there's the purple tape. Can't mean that. Which room should we go into to find the right doctor to help Wooly? Come on! That's right! Okay. Now we get the purple tape. Nope. Rebecca, that was great. Let's move on to the next one. What is this? What is she reading? Just a few simple words. Uh, this script is specifically tuned to train the technology's dynamic voice reaction. The what? I want this to stop. <sighs> Sam, why don't you take a walk for a few minutes? We've only got a few more of these. No, I them. don't want to do that. Rebecca, what's wrong? Who are you talking to? The man in the headphones. There's no man. She's upset. This is going too far. Let's just take five. Rebecca, come on out and we'll... Oh, shit. <clears throat> Now you say yes. Are you sure? It's a big secret. Is it really okay to share my secret with you? I'm out there. Mm hmm. Somewhere. Damn it. It better not be the same thing. This is the same. Oh. That was different. I think they're trying to say that this game is going to have a sequel. <laughs> 